Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans. Yes. So, as I told earlier, we are going to step into the Android 13, and the first device that we are going to see is MI A2. I'm currently in the first, so Android 12 L, and I already have the uh, required ROMs uh, in my PC, which are Arrow S13 and the Pixel 4a. So uh, to give the credits, Arrow S3 is made by Emmanuel. Uh, so, uh, but currently that post is not there in his channel. So uh, somehow I have already saved this uh, in my saved messages. So yeah so this is the custom room and we have some uh, change logs notes uh, where it is mentioned it's an encrypted build user debug and clean flash is recommended and must use inbuilt recovery only except our initial flash don't flash any other custom recovery just to boot recovery with fast boot so this uh, passes the device certified certification and it passes the cts and it's enforcing build and we have a lot of uh, huge details and in terms of uh, the uh, Fixel 4a port it is not a custom ROM it is a port by um, it is port by JDV JD Wang Hela so I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong but uh, really huge thanks for making this he have made multiple builds and currently he somehow made it uh, made the bluetooth work in the final build so here what we are going to try is we are going to try the aero os official android 13 so i already have uh, downloaded uh, uh, that the procedure is pretty much simple as it said uh, we can just clean flash it with this uh, um, with this rob if you want to install the pixel 4a uh, port you need to uh, do the same but it is unencrypted and once you flash this you need to flash the magisk to fix a blue boot loop so yeah so here i am going to try out the arrow os so first as i am as i was uh, in currently in the Dev first, I will just reboot to my recovery and I will paste all the uh, necessary files in here. If I am unable to paste it here, I will use the ADB side load. So first I will open my tools. I have the tools in a cell phone folder. So here I have my tools. First I will type ADB devices. It will ask for the permission. So I will just allow this one. And if I click again. Now, now we can see the ADB device is connected. So First thing I am going to do is I will go to MA folder and latest Android 13. So here I have the arrow OS. So I will just uh, try to uh, reboot to recovery. As this build is uh, unencrypted, so the recovery should work. Also, it will come with a recovery. So it comes with the uh, uh, lineage recovery, so that may not work. So here I am going to advance and uh, I am going to reboot to bootloader. Okay, so I am currently in fast boot, fast boot devices. So I just installed the, uh, so I just installed the drivers back. So now I am able to see the devices. So here I the fast boot. Uh, fast boot, uh, boot, and then uh, I will go to show me me a2, and then here I have the uh, TWRP which I will just drag and drop. So now it is uh, 
booted even i am able to see the uh, internals i will just go ahead and install recovery ram disk and select storage how i can install current to this one okay so i'll copy this one to my uh, device now i'll go install recovery and i'll select the image in the meantime i will, in my system i will just uh, copy the os which i need uh, uh, it is latest this one and uh, error os and i'll just copy it to ma2 internal storage and in okay so now i have uh, copied the error os i will just uh, go ahead and form known uh, format the data i'll just wipe the these things so now i will just uh, reboot to the uh, so currently it is i am in uh, uh, partition b so if i install it it should be a partition a so i'll just uh, reboot to wait i'll just slot i will change it to slot a and i'll reboot to recovery i am still not sure whether uh, <laughs> twrb is installed in both the field so now i am in slot a i already formatted the slot b so in this case in this case i will just format uh, sorry i'll just wipe uh, this partition also and now i am good to install arrow os so as you can see this one is currently installing in inactive partition which is partition b so hopefully i will just reboot to recovery and if it is in b i will just uh, reboot to the system once it is installed So now we have uh, installed this. I will just uh, Dolby can cache so reboot to recovery to switch the updated partition. So I'll just reboot to the uh, currently it is in A. So when I do it, it should be in uh, B. Also, I don't think uh, we'll again uh, boot into T. Okay. So we are in A partition now. So I will just reboot to system.
I think something went wrong so I'll just I'll just reboot to the B position and I'll check it in uh, this one. So it showed like it is installed in the inactive partition, I guess. So it didn't change the partition then. Okay. So it is in the actually it is installed in the partition B. So yeah. So we have the arrow is now. I will just reboot to the system by pressing the power button. This always confuse me, guys. Confuses me. And I'll just do the factory reset because I didn't do the format data before. So I'll just uh, format the data. Okay, just automatically rebooting. Okay, so now it is booting. I'll just remove this cable. It is unnecessary now. I already have uh, insert a uh, geo sim so we can see some uh, basic things how it is working and all so I will try to set up it in the same video so yeah okay so now we have uh, booted into the this one so I will just set start okay so finally we are in the arrow os oh few more steps start so currently it is running on android 13 as you can see here and Sero OS with the G apps, August 5th security patch, a month old one. And we can just uh, check here, I think. So we are in Android 13 now, it's good. Also, it's feel bit uh, snappy, also. Uh, just a few things, let me check it. So, camera seems to be working. Video quality. Not bad. <coughs> I'll try to install uh, YouTube and we'll check it. Also in terms of the security, uh, the device is now uh, encrypted. So that is good thing. And DRM info wise. Um, it has a L3 support. So like earlier. And we'll check the audio quality. And what is nice.
so the audio quality wise it is fine i have to try uh, bluetooth uh, so now i will take my tws and try to pair it so it is connected now bluetooth speaker is working fine and we'll try if the old t is working so i'll just uh, give a call so this is working fine uh, calling facilities messages also should work i believe so yeah <coughs> So these are some of the things I have uh, checked now. We don't have a customization. It is initial arrow build, so we can't expect it. But for the starting, it's a really good start uh, in my opinion. So yeah, I will just try to get this device as my primary one and I will check it for a week or something and I will try to uh, provide update as soon as possible as a review. So yeah, thank you for watching. Good morning.